Hi, I um, hope everyone's well. Um, I'm doing this video as a response to our, one of our subscribers, Kat Burt JRJR, um, who's requested a video for um, question 54. Um, and this question was found in the General Ability Test 2 of the New South Wales Department of Education's sort of free practice test. Um, I'll go through the question and then provide you with an approach that you can use coming up to the exam because it's only four more days. Um, so let's go through the question. Each set of numbers follow, follows the same rule. Find the missing number. So the first missing number missing group of numbers, missing group is 1836 and the second group is 20, question mark 5. So the question mark is the missing number that you need to find. The third group of numbers is 219 and then 2247. So it's this section, this whole section here. Okay, and the first thing you should be doing is looking at finding out what you're um, supposed to solve in the exam, which is that. Okay, th this is the approach I would do. The first thing I would do is to look at the first group. Whoops. Which is here. That looks like it could be 3 times 6. That would be the first thing that I would instinctively um, think about. Okay, but then the second thing you should do is to compare it because we're looking within the same group, therefore each other group should hold the same relationship. So it should be 1 times 9 equals um, the answer. However, you can see at the bottom here, 1 times 9 does not equal 9. The number at the front is 20. So therefore 3 times 6 is incorrect. Okay, so that's part of I guess finding out the relationship. Then you would look at I guess the 20 and the 1 and 9. What I would do is think okay is it because there are only four types of combinations that could really apply. There would be addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Okay one or the other. It's likely that it would either be because the numbers are actually getting larger so 3, 6, 18 and then 1, 9, 20, 4, 7, 22, 20 and 5. So it's likely that it's sort of plus multiplication or it could be a combination of the four. Okay, what I would do is 1 plus 9 is obviously 10 and 1 times 9 is 9. So it must be a combination of the two. Instinctively I would say, well, 1 plus 9 is 10 and then 10 times 2 is 20. So the relationship could be 1 plus 9 and then times by 2, whatever that number is. Okay, so let me. So it would be this is the first. Assuming this is our first. Whoops, why does that keep coming up? Let me delete it. Assuming this is our first number. This is our second number and third number. We'll call it A, B, C just to make it easier. The relationship is therefore B plus C multiplied by 2, which gives you A. Okay, this is basic algebra, algebra um, using, I guess, notation to represent a number. Okay, so B should be this number here, C would be this number here, and A would represent this number here. And let's test it. 4 plus 7 is 11 times 2 is 22. So you know that's the relationship that holds. So in order to find B, you would have to use algebra to go backwards. Okay, so you've got 20, which is A, so this is where, I guess, just knowing basic algebra, it doesn't need to be complicated, but knowing um, how to go 
I guess how to go forward and backwards in your equations is pretty essential in this situation. So times 2, so to get okay, C is 5, 20 divided by 2 because we're putting it on this side of the equation is 10 and then B plus 5 is by itself and then what you need to do is this is going back to algebra, just simple algebra 10 minus 5 is 5 okay Okay, the other question is, how about, how about if I don't know algebra? That's not, that won't hold you back in this exam because it is multiple choice. Um, one of the things you should use to your advantage uh, is having um, sort of the answers or possible solutions given to you. Um, I remember in one of, in an exam that I did, which also had multiple choice, I couldn't actually, um, couldn't actually remember how to use algebra in this in a particular situation because it was actually quite difficult however I was able to use the answers to come and find the correct solution so there are always a lot of ways to do things um, so what you would do here is if you didn't know what that was but you found out the relationship was um, you know second number plus third number times two you could still figure it out because your second number would be three in this case so three times three plus five is eight times two is sixteen wrong answer so you can do it by elimination um, five plus five is ten times two right answer and that would give you um, the tick there so there are two ways to go about it you could do algebra or you could do a process of elimination here. But the most important thing is actually finding what the relationship is. I did that by considering first not just that, you know, 3 times 6 is 18 because the second um, second group numbers here doesn't actually relate to the first. Okay? If that was the case, you would you would have done um, you would have gotten a different answer. Uh, so at the end of the day you need to find the relationship that holds and in order to do that you need to know your operations so addition, subtraction, multiplication of division find out whether the number's going up or down and then is it using one operation or is it a combination of operations and from there you would be able to I guess find the answer. Um, it does take a bit of practice, but as you get used to it, um, it should become easier. So hopefully that has helped. Um, if there are any other questions you need videos on, feel free to email me or put comments on YouTube and I'm happy to help out. Okay, um, if you do need any more information, um, I have the general ability to reach for exam success book. You can get it from selectivetest.net for an immediate download.